Hello and welcome to Perspectives for Wednesday, January the 25th, 2017, Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul. I'm Deacon Pedro. We begin in Paul VI Hall in the Vatican, where today Pope Francis invited us to trust in God's providential care while doing everything in our power to respond to the challenges that come our way. Resuming his weekly general audience catechesis on hope, Pope Francis recalled the courageous Old Testament figure of Judith, who not only brought the people hope, but also led them to victory over the enemy. How often have we felt our trust in God waver, asked the Holy Father. How many times has each of us, perhaps in desperation, been tempted to lose faith and expect the worst? Judith's faith, the Pope continued, inspires us to commend ourselves to the Father with trust and obedience. And with respects to Judith's courage, Pope Francis added that, in his opinion, women are often more courageous than men. God, the Pope continued, knows exactly what we need and we must trust him because his paths and his actions are different to ours. And after weeks of a very public tensions with the Vatican, the head of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta accepted the Holy Father's request that he submit his resignation. The Vatican said today that Pope Francis accepted the resignation of the order's Grand Master, Fra Matthew Festing. His resignation comes after a commission was set up to investigate the removal of the order's Grand Chancellor. The Order of Malta is the present-day continuation of the medieval Knights Hospitaller, founded in the 10th century to provide medical care for pilgrims to the Holy Land. Today, the order, with almost 14,000 knights, dames, and auxiliary members, employs about 25,000 doctors, nurses, auxiliaries, and paramedics, assisted by 80,000 volunteers in more than 120 countries, where they provide care for children, the homeless, those with disabilities, refugees, lepers, the elderly, and those who are terminally ill. The Grand Master is elected for life from among the professed knights. And in the Democratic Republic of Congo, bishops leading negotiations between political leaders are warning that unless an agreement is signed by January 28th, all efforts to achieve peace will have been in vain. The Catholic Church became a mediator after President Joseph Kabila refused to step down at the end of his term in December, after 16 years in power. Archbishop Fridolin Ambongo Besungu, vice president of the country's Catholic Episcopal Conference and one of the mediators who directed the peace negotiations, told Fides News Agency that the bad faith of the politicians is putting strain on the patience of the pastors. In recent months, dozens have been killed in violent clashes between security forces and anti kabila protesters. And in Toronto last night, I had the opportunity to attend an event on dialogue with Muslims. The talk was given by Cardinal Orlando Quevedo of the Philippines, whose Archdiocese of Cotabato has a predominantly Muslim population. In the schools especially, they have to dialogue with one another in life. They just share friendship. They respect one another. They say hi to one another in the neighborhood. They borrow sugar and salt from one another. So there is no problem. That's what you call a dialogue of life. The event took place at the John Paul II Polish Cultural Center in Mississauga and was organized by the Polish province of Oblates of Mary Immaculate. On Monday, Cardinal Quevedo spent the day with us here at Salt and Light. So keep an eye out on our website in the next weeks as you don't want to miss any of the programs that we taped with Cardinal Quevedo. And concluding the week of prayer for Christian unity today on the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul, Pope Francis presided at Vespers in the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. For this occasion, the Sistine Chapel Choir was joined by the Westminster Abbey Choir, a collaboration that grew out of the deepening of Anglican-Catholic relations in recent years. To read Pope Francis's homily, visit our website, saltandlighttv.org. And that's all for today. May God bless you and your home.